Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about domains if you're getting started with a Squarespace website or you're trying to connect domains or you're working on a client project and you have no idea how to connect a domain, this video is gonna be so helpful for you. And if you wait to the end, I do have a bonus for you that you will love. So make sure you check out the end of the video. So this video is gonna be broken down into three parts. The first one is gonna be your options. The second one is actually how to do it. And the third one is gonna be best practices. So let's start with options. Number one. So you have quite a few options. We're gonna take a look at my demo website and kind of see what we can do with domains. So first and foremost, we're here on my demo website. The first thing I'll do is go to settings and then click on domains. Now in here, you have a ton of things you can do. You can get a domain where you could buy it. So you could buy it directly through Squarespace. Now, when you buy it through Squarespace, you're buying it through a third party kind of setup. So it's actually being bought through a tool called two cows, T U C O S. And everything is then hosted in your site here. So everything lives in your site here. So if I hit get a domain, I start doing a search. I start looking at domains via the two cows network, or I'm going to end up buying it through two cows. You can do whatever you want here. Um, purchase the domain. Awesome. But here it says use a domain I own. Now, once you click on this, it gives you two options. Truly. The two options are this, you could either transfer a domain or connect a domain. Often I get asked which one's better. And most times people think you need to transfer it for the site to work properly. At the end of the day, it honestly does not matter. If you're just starting out, you don't have email connected to your domain, your domain is brand new. It is completely fine to do either. There is no preference. Either way you go about it, they both will work great. So as an example, if you just connect the domain, that means your domain is hosted through a tool like GoDaddy or Google domains or Namecheap, whatever it is, your domain is hosted there, but then it's connecting to your Squarespace site. This works just as well as if you were to transfer your domain to completely move it from say a GoDaddy or Google domain to Squarespace. It works exactly the same. In my personal opinion, it does not matter where you do it, how you do it. Most domains, most companies I work with, they connect. Now, this is the only thing you got to really consider if you're thinking about this right now. This is the most important part. If you are trying to launch your site quite quickly here, transferring is the worst option because it could take seven to 10 days to transfer. But to connect, it could be done in 20 minutes and the entire process could be done in 24 hours. I'll explain more about what I mean in the next part, but just so you understand, your options here are you could buy it directly from Squarespace, you could connect it so it lives in GoDaddy, but you connect it to your Squarespace site. And then the third one is you could transfer it completely so everything is under your Squarespace site. So let's run an example here just so you get a feel for it. And then you could also see what kind of options there are. So let's type in. Okay, so as you can see here, I just typed in a random domain. I do not own this orangecountyseo.com. It says transfer is recommended. Again, it doesn't really matter. My personal recommendations for 90% of clients I work with is connect the domain. So I'll just hit connect. Now this is the important part you'll see here, select provider. Here are all the options. This is what I want to show you. Basically you can use any tool out there. So if your domain lives anywhere, it can connect to your Squarespace site. You just have to connect five DNS records to be able to do it. The best one is going to either be a Google domain or a GoDaddy domain. Um, but at the end of the day, you could use any of them. GoDaddy is like the simplest and Google domains are the simplest, but you could use any of them. So Namecheap, Eon, Network, Solutions, Dreamhost, Bluehost, I want my note, name.com, name.com, Hover, all of them, all of them. You could see them all here. There are a ton of options. So I'm just going to click other because if I click on like anything outside of GoDaddy, it's going to do the same exact thing. So just be mindful of that if it's GoDaddy, it's going to ask you to log into your GoDaddy account and go from there. Real simple process. But here, if I click other, it's going to say connect domain, 
Now it's saying your connection is in process. So you'll hit continue and now you gotta do a little bit of work. So these are the five domain uh, settings you want to set up. Now, at the end of the video, the bonus is going to walk you through how to figure this out and do it with ease, especially if it's your first time doing it, or if you're a designer and you have no idea what any of this means, I have something for you. Check it out at the end of the video. All right, so that is part one. Now let's go to part two. So now part two is we got to connect these DNS records and get that all set up. Once that's set up, what is basically going to happen is that you're going to be able to then get your site up and running. So once these are set up, it can take anywhere between 10 minutes to 72 hours for your site to be fully connected. Now, what does that mean? That means anytime I go to orangecountyseo.com, it's going to either show up with the site or it's going to take some time to connect. The reason this happens is DNS records, for some reason, it's the oldest part of the Internet is it just takes time. It takes time for these connections to like get set up because the information is on hundreds of servers or whatever, tons of servers, and it needs to update all the servers so that it knows what DNS records to find and how to find them. But the second part of that is it needs to set up security, which is the site security. So you know if you ever type into a site and you try to go to a new site and it says this site is not secure, well, it's because the site security isn't set up properly. And you definitely don't want that on your site. But while you're transferring the domain, it's highly recommended that you do it in the evening, you do it on the weekend, you do it when your site is the least used because of this possible change. Now, if you're in the process of changing your name for your business, there's a ton of SEO stuff you wanna consider. But in this part, when you're trying to connect a domain and you're trying to do this, just try to do it at the least important time so that it's not at a critical time. You don't want people ending up on a page that's saying uh, the site is not private or the site is not secure. Now, what you'll notice and how you'll know all these things are headed in the right direction is this. Okay, so here I am on a live website and the domain is connected. You'll see it's in green, which is great, which means it's all connected and everything is good. When I click on it, it gives me a full breakdown of what's happening. You'll see, again, it wants me to transfer the domain. The reason Squarespace wants you to transfer the domain, they recommend it, is because it puts more money in their pocket. So it's not necessary, but if you want to, you can. It's totally up to you. You'll see provider here is GoDaddy and then the SSL is set up and it's active. This is the most important part. You wanna make sure that SSL is active. Another way to check SSL is if I go back and then I go to advance, you can go to SSL here and you'll see that is all active. When you start the domain connection process, you'll see here certificate status. This will say processing or something like that, but I think it says processing. And so that is what can take anywhere between 10 minutes and 72 hours. You wanna make sure that you connect the DNS records properly and it's all done correctly because if those DNS records, if one of them is off, it will slow down the entire process. I have been yelled at by clients before because I did this wrong and it was just taking way too long. I learned a valuable lesson and I don't want you to go through that. So make sure you get the bonus at the end. But now let's go to this last thing I wanna mention here with domains. A lot of people get this part a little bit mixed up and I just wanna talk about it. You can connect 20 domains to your site. At the end of the day, Squarespace will point everything to one primary domain. So if I go back to this Mission Journal website here and I go to domains, you'll see that there, I could have 20 domains here, but one of them is gonna say primary. And what that means is if I have another domain here and someone goes to that domain specifically, it is going to forward it to this domain. Forward might not be the right technical word, but that's clear. Basically in, the, in their browser, it will say themissionjournal.com. Even though they might type something else in, they'll hit enter and then it'll show this. So you could buy 75 domains, but you don't need to. And this is really gonna be important in this next part about best practices. So for part three, let's talk about best practices. When it comes to SEO and domains and all of those things, you're gonna wanna make sure of a few things. Number one, you're gonna wanna make sure your DNS records are set up properly. I know I mentioned that already, but sometimes there are deprecated domains, there are these different things that come up. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you get that green light that it says connected and everything is connected properly. 
Number two, I highly recommend having your site at the top level of security. Whether or not you are doing e-commerce, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go to settings, advanced, SSL, turn on secure, and HSTS. That means your site is gonna load in the most secure form every single time. So make sure this is on. I wouldn't uncheck it and put it into insecure. I would keep it secure as much as possible. It's a free feature. It's built into Squarespace. Just use it and make sure it's set up properly. Number three, your domain is the most important part of your website. Oftentimes we don't talk about this in this whole design world, but your domain is so important because if you think about it, Google is going to rank one domain for all your content. They do not like duplicate content. They say avoid duplicate content, which would be if you have say five pages with 10 different domains, that doesn't work. You're gonna have one main domain and that domain is really the hub. It's the anchor point for every single one of your pages. So the domain, the address, like a phone number is how you connect to any of those pages. And that domain is gonna be just so important for the life of your site. Again, if you already have a business running and you're changing your name, this video isn't the most relevant. I have other content on that, but this is really to help you understand that when you start to rank, you want that main domain to be your starting point and you wanna build, build, build on that domain. So make sure you set it up right so the primary domain is the correct domain. Number four, sometimes people will point a domain to their site so basically it works like this. I have Orange County SEO here, but let's just say I bought another domain called ocseo.com. I could go into a tool like GoDaddy or Google domains and say, forward anyone from that goes to this domain to orangecountyseo.com. Hope you're with me still. If that's the case, that kind of works, but what you wanna do is you actually just want them all to be connected in here because Squarespace will automatically do that for you and it just works better. Basically what it'll do is it'll take any page on your site. And so if somebody goes to ocseo.com forward slash about, it'll take them to the about page on your, on your site. But if you just forward it from the third party tool, it won't work. Basically what I'm saying is if you do want four or five domains to all connect to one site, make sure they're all connected in your Squarespace account. It's a best practice, best use case overall. That way people don't end up on dead pages. Now, time for the bonus. If you are struggling with this or you are having problems with setting up your DNS records and you need some help, Again, especially if you are doing this for the first time and you never wanna do this again, or you are doing this for clients and you're gonna to have to do this again and again, I have a tool for you. So make sure you check the link down in the description. I will walk you through everything. I don't publish this on YouTube because there's a lot of sensitive information, but for anyone who wants to get into the tool, make sure you check it out below. You will get a starter kit that will get you going, get you started, and get you running on domains. So you understand how domains work, how to connect them, how to stay ahead of it, how to talk to a client about it if you need that. I will get you set up on this whole process. There's also a few other things you need to know with a domain. If you're gonna set up email, I'll take a look at that right now. If you set up a Google workspace and an email through your domain, well, you're gonna to need to set up a few DNS records for that as well. So I will show you how to do all of that. I will get you set up. I've done this process many times before. I have a lot of experience in it. So I will get you through everything so you have a clear sense of what you need, what you don't need, what to focus on, and how to make it happen quickly. This is a great thing if you are a designer to charge 100, two, or even $300 to help clients do this. And as soon as you understand it, similar to accounting, you pay an accountant or a lawyer a lot of money per hour, but it's because they have an expertise. And this is something that a lot of people get frustrated with, probably why you're watching this video right now. So make sure you check out that starter kit. It's gonna be a great tool for you. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from 
today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.